Yo, what's good YouTube? So today I'm going to bring you my first official upload, shall I say, on my channel with some proper editing. Um, and it's going to be a little journey and it's going to be my journey to Diamond on Siege. So like a bit about me is that I'm a, a real competitive gamer. I really like FPS games. So every time there's an FPS involved and I'm playing, I've always got to be number one or I'm going to work towards number one or always going to try to be the best. So we're on coastline, offense first, you know how it is. So for anyone watching this who does know me, you probably know that I insta-lock Hibana quite a lot. If you are watching this, you don't know me. I like to insta-lock Hibana quite a lot. If you manage to see from the playtimes that just showed up on screen, Ash has probably got about half the time that I've got played on Hibana. That's the difference. But anyways, first round starts, you know, usual drone business. So obviously I could see straight from the barbed wire that they're probably going hookah and billiards room. So, to be honest with you, I was trying to get my drone in the corner of the stairs, but I just couldn't reach the jump. So I cannot even begin to count how many times that I've been spawn peaked on coastline. So, from all the scars, I check every single window now. Shit. Honestly, every single round, you'll probably see me checking it, just because the amount of times that I've been spawn peaked from one of these windows so as you saw, they have a clash who was probably calling out my position the whole time. So I decided to switch up and try drop underneath and try work my way underneath and try get around that clash basically because I knew I could probably stand at ruins all day and she'll probably just call to all of her teammates that I'm standing there. Gotcha, bitch. I managed to get rewarded with my patience by catching the cab off guard. And then at this point, to be honest with you, I was just trying to salvage anything from the round because I think my teammates just got dropped off from early. So at this point, I was just trying to salvage anything I can, just pick up any scraps, anyone just kind of roaming around. I managed to catch that yokai in the corner of my eye, so I quickly shot that, but you probably already called my position and Clash was standing in front of me. So you can probably guess what's about to happen. Um, I'm going to do a U-turn and hit the gas ASAP. But unfortunately, just running into a dead end and just getting picked up by an Echo who's holding the site pretty well. So, you know what? I can't complain at that. They held that pretty well. And Clash did her job, really, of just being that annoying person around the whole site. So, you know what? Fair play. But on to round two now. And you can probably guess if you played ranked enough on Siege that it, it tends to go in an order on what sites they pick. And would you believe it? They pick Penthouse and Theater. So I'm just watching people's drones, trying to get an idea kind of, of where about vigil is kind of going. So doing my usual spawn peak checks and droning a pretty typical spot in Sunrise Bar that a lot of people like to hold. Kitchen, yeah, you're going kitchen. Well, I was rewarded because I caught a Jaeger off guard who's looking at window. So this is probably my time to pounce now while he's not looking. So I knew from my drone that I could kind of fast push into Sunrise. So I thought I need to get that Jaeger and move quick. So I cleaned up Jaeger and I thought I'd hang around just to see if anyone else comes to investigate and see where he kind of got picked from and I was rewarded. So with Jaeger and Vigil already kind of cleaned up, I thought I could kind of slowly work my way to the site now, not having to check my back every 5 seconds. So I work my way up the stairs, kind of just quick checking every kind of room. At this point I was looking to not kind of get too distracted away from the actual objective. So I'm just kind of quick peeking, seeing anything I can see. And I walk around the corner and Echo's kind of smart set up with his yokai above and a shield. So he's kind of gaining all the info as soon as you come around the corner and you still can't fire at him because of the shield. But nonetheless, my teammates still come around the other side and they kind of clean up. So it's all good. One all, round two. We got it. On to round three now and you know who the lock-in is. So again, usual drone phase. Um, I expected them kind of to be in the same spot because that's not really a, a spot that you should be losing on. But I assume they're going to have the same setup and kind of it's going to go the same way as round two. So usual spawn peak checks, getting the default cams and I'm just skipping sunrise bar this time straight away and I'm just going straight for the hookah drone and I'm going to try and hit the site. I was kind of getting distracted by a little yokai sound that I was hearing here. So it may look like I'm just kind of spasming in my mouth and looking into the corners. I was hearing a yokai drone around and we got it in the end, but it took some finding. I was caught on my guard down there and Jaeger kind of came around on the rotate and kind of cleaned me up easy with like not even a fight. But nonetheless, my teammates are still kind of doing a good job. They're trading on kills and slowly cleaning up, so it's all good. And then I just gave the info to Buck and he cleaned up the Jaeger that got me, so 
no problems there we won the round so switching over to defense now and i'm really liking the feel of jaeger i didn't used to play him quite a lot i used to play frost quite a lot but i'm really liking jaeger's weapon so i'm gonna start picking him a lot more so i'm just putting you know your generic ads's down some barbed wire by the door so they just can't rush in and then i thought i'll do the uh, the sunrise bar peak but i don't think anyone wanted to play ball with me in the end so i then just got a call from the kb and thought i'd just see if i can catch anyone off guard on the roof and then i just thought i'd return to site because there's no point in me even trying to force like a pick but at this point i'm just kind of sitting on white stairs seeing if anyone pushes me and then at this point i'm hearing a call from my teammate and he's kind of saying that they're pushing balcony so i thought if i could just kind of peek my shoulder and see if i could see anything and then I catch a Twitch who's, I don't know what she's trying to do. If she's trying to just rush the site, but she was trying to get through two rolls of barbed wire there. So it wasn't really a good play from her. Now at this point, I'm just kind of staying put, trying to play safe because we got the man advantage at this point. So just trying to conserve my life. But Alibi manages to pick up the trade and then she gets the kill afterwards. So she's cleaned that round up and that's another round in the bag for us. So match point, go into the kitchen hold. And once again, I pick Jaeger. Now with these videos, I'm not trying to be some kind of esports ESL pro. I'm just trying to give you guys an insight of kind of my grind all the way up to diamond. So I just want to give you guys my perspective of it and I want you to join me on the journey. But nonetheless, doing the generic ADSs and just a few barbed wires in the doorways to stop the rushes. Again, going for the sunrise bar peak, but I thought I'd switch up the angle this time just in case they're expecting the door peak. So I didn't get anyone from the window, but it looks like someone wanted to try and challenge me from the door. I didn't manage to catch him, but you know, we had a fair fight. But nonetheless, like a pretty quiet 30 to 40 seconds start the round. Like I was expecting a few more peaks or whatever from Echo, but you know what? It was quite quiet. Now I'm just making sure that the guy I was challenging at the door doesn't try and push me. And then I heard a call from my teammate saying white stairs. So I thought I'd hold this angle and challenge the person that's going to peek. So I'm just moping about on site really. And then I see Twitch's shock drone approach me. But I know that it's going to be a Twitch. So I seen that my teammate was kind of holding the sunrise and blue bar area. So I thought I'd watch like the main entrance and kind of toilets entrance. And luckily, but unluckily for Twitch, her laser pointer was on one of the bathroom stalls. But that's GG, all cleaned up, 4-1, MVP. So just as a reminder to you guys, I'm not doing this to try and be some esports professional, trying to give you guys like hints and tips and angles to hold. I just kind of want you guys to have my perspective on kind of my journey, hopefully up to diamond. And I want you to be on the journey with me. Also remember that I do stream on Twitch daily and I stream Siege most of the day. So, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, my Twitch stream is linked below. Come say hi, drop a follow and that's about it.